Hi everybody, my name is Randy Friedman and I'm the Associate Director of Educational Programming here at the Society of Women Engineers. And you received an ambassador's kit that included this really cool trick. Now the reason that this is included in there is because it is a very simple way to introduce the engineering design process. First thing we do in the engineering design process is identify a problem. So the problem here is how do we take the ring and drop it down the chain and make it catch like so. So the problem is of course that when you do this it'll just drop. So that's the problem for you all to solve. So the next step in the design process is brainstorm some solutions. How do you think I made the ring catch on the chain? And then design some possible solutions. Is it the way that I held my hands? Is it the rotation of the ring? Is it magic? Once you've designed some solutions, you can test it out. Once you've tested it and it works or doesn't work, you can redesign it if it didn't work and try a new solution. And that encompasses the whole design process. So we drop it and there it is and it catches. So can you reproduce that? The important thing about the ring and chain trick is that most people will fail when they attempt to do it. And failure is a really important part of the design process. You have to fail to figure out what you need to do to make something work. Now some people have beginner's luck and will get it on the first time. So have your students try to get it three times in a row and that'll show that they have figured it out. Good luck.